Hey guys, it's James bringing you another career mode roundup FIFA 15 Wigan Athletics. So we start here today by showing you the team management, and I didn't show you a lot of the team in the last episode of the season, uh, episode before. The reason that is because we just wanted to push on and you know look at this guy Bato from Trinidad Tobago, 6'1". He's quite, got quite a bit of um, beef behind him, and um, you look at his stats; they're not bad, eh? And you notice he's centre back, 70 overall, and he's playing in the right back position. And that's the thing, you know, you look at Fukubu on the left side, he's like the same type of player, you'll see centre back slash centre defensive mid, 6-1, you know, same height, same weight, same overall, same type of player, um, just the big utility players, I want them on the wing, uh, the right back and left back positions, because they're going to help out the left and right wingers, like McManaman and Loire Loire, because that's how this formation works, if I don't have players like that, then the formation isn't going to work, I don't think anyway. And um, this guy could have played on the right, but I've decided to play him in centre, uh, centre mid, and I've done that for the whole season. Leandro Bakuna, the only player in, my, in any of my career modes that has all green stats, or sorry, all yellow or green stats, and he's just an awesome player just to put in the middle. And this is the best you know possible team I could put out because I wanted to get this all sorted for you guys. So you know I don't have a goalkeeper in the subs. Uh, my goalkeepers never get injured, and I've only got two in at the moment. But that's the best players I can put in this team or in the subs team. And you notice we have a lot of English players. That's a good thing as well. Oscar Goburn, 67 overall, awesome player. And, you know, I've got May Kinnock in the first 11. But if I don't want to use him because he's too tall or too slow, then I can bring on one of these guys, Berahino or Nile Ranger. And now on the reserves, you know, I've only got 12 players. So I can bring any of these guys on. You notice that Dalfonso is actually a pretty good player. I just had to leave him out for this one. But I can bring on any of these guys. And I'm still keeping the Wigan in this team. So... Players like Watson, Barnett, who's only been there for a season, but you know there's this guy, Fort. He's from Barbados, and he reminds me of um, Emerson Boyce, and I would be playing playing him in that right back, and you know, we've got a massive game here today in Swansea. There's Michu and John Joe Shelby. Shelby? I don't think Michu plays uh, for Swansea at the moment, does he? Is he injured, or is he on loan somewhere? But you notice that's Batao and Fockable on the left of that screen and next to him is Ali Al Habsi. So those are our two utility players and it's gonna be really interesting using them throughout the season. And what do I notice for Swansea's lineup? Players like Ki Sung Young and Kenyas, who I don't think is playing for them at the moment. Maybe you could tell me. I think he's on loan somewhere in Spain. But as I said you'll see the two utility players on left back the left back position and the right back position. No, actually Alonso is playing in that left back. So he's he's the other new signing that I made. I just wanted to get some really cheap players in the team, and you know he only cost me a million. Alonso he used to play for Sunderland and Bolton at one point. There's Kenyas, and there's the hitman Jermaine Jones. He'll just be you know sitting in the back of the midfield, just tearing shit up. You know it's going to be really exciting to use him. He's the next Mark Van Bommel, although he is 33 years old. Look at that cover from Fockable. Ali Habsi will take a big touch, pass it off to Alonso, and we'll start from the back. So, And now Dyer to Ki Sung Yong. That was actually a pretty good shot, wasn't it? Ali Habsi didn't make a save. He didn't need to, but it was a good, good attempt nonetheless. You saw that pass from Jermaine Jones. That's all we were doing in the game. You know, That was all he was doing, just trying to find any player he could, just going for the pass. You know, Bakun is going to try to pass it off to Ranger. Not the best pass, but you know, it was just good effort, wasn't it? Alfred Duncan, the next Michael Essien, he passes off to the right. He'll pass back. Jermaine Jones will push it forward to Berahino. Now, you think he'd go for the cross, but no, I was stubborn. So, that play didn't come to anything, and what I wanted to do for this episode, just make it a bit slower, so it'd be about 10 minutes, good shot again, is just show you how we play, you know, and a lot of these plays didn't come to anything or any goals, but they were good chances, and I wanted to show you how we play, how I play FIFA. And um, Jermaine Jones, you just see, you know, we're working well, and you saw that scissor kick, bicycle kick, whatever it was. McManaman, he's going to cut back or cut forward, and he's going to take another cross, so, yeah, we, we play all sorts of football, don't we? Crosses, working in from the side or the middle. It's awesome football. I love I love playing FIFA. And um, you'll see this sh good pass from Liam Britton. Ango Rangel is going to cross it in. And look at this goal line clearance. Good save by Ali Ohebsi. And then Fuckable. Thank you, Post. We were very lucky, so that's awesome. Jermaine Jones would come off. The hitman, Mark Van Ball. And I needed someone to bring on that's just like him. Who could that be? Wilson Palacios, they're pretty much the same type of player. It's good he's come back to the club. He'll just um, tear tear it up in the mid midfield, back of the midfield. And Swansea with the cross. You watch this cross. We'll header it out. And then on the end of it, Ki Sung Yong with a good shot. And then that was a good goal. So we lost that game 1-0. And now I'll show you the table for the next game. Man City, I didn't expect them to come 13th. And I didn't expect us to come 14th. I thought we would have been a bit, um, bit lower down the table. But it's good that we're coming 14th. So... 
Now I kind of set us up to defend, so I wanted to have three at the back, so I could bring in Fokabu in at centre back. He's number four, and then that means I could bring on Alonso and left back and Batao, and then I just pack the midfield with a bit of a you know diamond just to help it out. And I, I was playing with two strikers because um, a lot of times these these teams that are set out to defend against these big teams play only one lone striker, a fast striker. But I wanted to have these two guys here, Dalfonso and Berahino as like the counter-attacking strikers because they're two fast strikers you know at least over 80 85 pace or sprint speed and that was a good save by Alo Habsi so I wanted to break it on the counter-attack you know just try to build up play like this you know Berahino just working with the other players Bakuna will try to, will try to get up you know um, it's what Man United did well they didn't defend at the start of the season but they set out this, this way as well like with a bit of a diamond and a five at the back formation and I thought it worked out well, you know, we had to defend a lot, you saw that save. And um, Alonso on the ball now, passed off to McManaman, cut inside, he's a quick player isn't he? Back heel to Alonso, he'll get forward, so, you know, this play didn't come to anything. But I just wanted to show you all those back heels and the nice play. Look at that linking pass from Tav onto Tavernier. He's come on in this game, and what's he going to do? He's going to walk around and then he's going to cross on the end of it. Ooh, not bad. So, we drew that game, nil all. And, you know, we played at home, DW Arena. I'm happy with a point against Man City, any Man City team. West Brom against Wigan. Let's sim this game. You can see the team there. Batal, Dawson will get a game. West Brom have scored. They've got an injury with Sessegnon and Davidson, the Australian fullback. He manages to score. So, you can see I've got, you know, engine players like Espinosa and Myler in the midfield. I haven't played Myler a lot, but we lost that game 2-1, so... It's not a good start, you know, we, we lost two games and we drew one, but the game that we drew was pretty good, and um, Chelsea, we're playing Chelsea, this is Stamford Bridge, we're playing in our away kit, and, you know, I didn't expect much from this game, so for that reason, I tried a different team, you know, I tried out a lot of the youngsters, the un unproven players, awesome to see the, the team, Chelsea team, Van Ginkel playing, but yeah, as I said, players like Dawson would play, Wilson Palacios on the left back, and you look at the midfield, Govern and Duncan. These are really young players, inexperienced, and I'm going to bring them out into the deep end, playing in the defensive midfield role, which um, it's a bit different to the 4-3-3, four, four, three, three, isn't it? But you just saw then Duncan made a good tackle, good interception, and just like the Man City game, you know, we tried to play out from the back, we were under pressure, and we just, you know, we just wanted to play from the back, play to our strengths, so the defenders would get a bit of a touch on the ball, and we changed it to attacking, just so we could get up the field a bit more. You know, you see we're playing from the back, and that's, that can be dangerous at times. Duncan, he's going to get a good pass, good three ball to Daniel Johnson, one of my favourite players in this career mode, even though he's only 66 overall, he just plays awesomely, doesn't it? Making up, that's what he's supposed to do. You know, just hit the balls and um, try to get on the on the counter attack. Now, Chelsea have an attack. Obi Mikhail going to pop one over, and then on the end of it. So that was pretty close, wasn't it? Now, counter attack. Daniel Johnson, one of my favourite players, as I said, to make you knock. Pass it off to you, buddy, and then we get a free kick. So there was nothing from that free kick, but now we have the next play. We stuff it up at the back. They'll get a cross in, and then what's going to happen here? Oh. Good shot, and Hartok with the brilliant save. He's the goalkeeper that's playing today. The sub-goalkeeper, he's 64 overall, 28 years old, so not the best goalkeeper, but it was fun to use. You saw that good pass, though. Wasn't that a good pass? And now, making you know, up, get in there, son, against Javier Martinez, who plays for Bayern, but, you know, it's just cool to see different players playing for these teams now. That's what I love about Cremos, seeing which players transfer to which teams. And we get a free kick, we get a foul, and this is a bit embarrassing. That was a terrible cross, pass, whatever it was wasn't even that and um, that's what I like to do with my free kicks you know I just want to pass it off to someone sometimes you don't get every free kick right do you? but that's all right so at the end of the half would put Omar Gonzalez in that uh, defensive mid I'm pretty sure but yeah we'll chuck him in at defensive mid see how that goes he always plays center back but I just like his strength his his presence you know he's quite a big lad six foot five and he's just a beast, isn't he? And he's good on the ball sometimes. He loves to get forward. His attacking work rate is high, I'm pretty sure. So that's awesome for a centre back. And you're going to see him get forward, find a bit of space. The big six foot five defender, what's he going to do? Go for a cross. That's a good animation, isn't it, for the crossing? Daniel Johnson, that's a bit unlucky. He'll get a shot on, though. Ooh, I think that came off one of our players. No, one of their players. So Espinosa with the cross. The stamina king, what's he got? Daniel Johnson and Barnett, the player, centre back that comes on at the end of the half. Well, the end of the game almost gets a good chance in the 90, 91st minute. That could have been a goal. We could have stolen three points from Chelsea. That's all right, though. We will push on from this. I think we're just around the bottom somewhere, 14th, 15th place. 
And that brings us to the end of this roundup. So if you've enjoyed it, please leave a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.